So I'm going to go through the reactions that happen using free radicals in the atmosphere for the decomposition of ozone. Now, don't forget for this, what well, we've got are two propagation style equations and then an overall, which generally shows what happens to ozone as a result of these free radicals. As you can currently see, just next to the water feature just here, we've got some Cl radicals being given out by CFCs. You can have a various type of CFC given to you in the exam. It might be anything you don't know. But then what you've also got is some NO2 releasing some NO in photo dissociation. And we've got the radical dot here. Remember, when we have a single O atom, we do not show the radical dot. Now, the first propagation style equation takes, just move that, takes the NO radical and it reacts it straight away with ozone. So you should be thinking for your ozone decomposition equations, immediately you should be using a molecule of ozone, O3. Now, this reacts to form something which ordinarily wouldn't look like a radical, but because of the circumstances in which it's formed, it is. It's a nitrogen dioxide radical. What you also form is some admittedly very friendly looking oxygen, but obviously it's come as consequence of losing some O3. Now, just as before in propagation, when we looked at it in alkanes to make a halo alkane, if we've just formed a radical, we should use it straight away. So we take the NO2 dot just here, and this time we react it with O. Now, these two just here, no matter what the radicals are that they give you for the decomposition of the ozone layer, these two molecules, well, molecule and weird radical that we don't show the dot on, these will always be present in the two propagation style equations, so it's a good pattern for you to try and remember. The product from this one, we're going to reform the radical of nitrogen monoxide that we used at the very start, which remember was formed over here. You don't need to know that equation, they've not said you need to know that for the new specification, but they could bring it up in the exam, and they definitely reference this inside the new specification comments. And what you also form here is another molecule of O2. Now, if you combine these two equations, so you combine the two left-hand sides to make one left-hand side, two right-hand sides to make one right-hand side, and then cancel down everything that appears on both sides in the same proportions, what you're actually left with is an overall equation, which is our fault. It's not like the equilibrium for the ozone layer, which shows some of the similar species, of O3 plus O reacting to form 2O2. Now, if you just looked at the overall equation, you wouldn't have a clue that any of this is going on. And the main reason for that is the NO radical just here, going in and coming back out, is catalyzing this decomposition. And that's because it goes in and comes back out chemically unchained in two reactions. If you have any of the questions, then feel free to send us a tweet at ASFC underscore chemistry. Otherwise, I'll leave you to it. Happy revising.